Hello and welcome to our assembly for today. So I hope you've had a really good week. I hope you've really enjoyed the book day activities that your teachers have prepared for you yesterday. And I hope you had fun wearing your hats. There were some fantastic hats in school and it was really lovely to see um, Mrs. Miller wearing a firefighter's hat designed for a three-year-old, which was a great look and one that you should all get the chance to see. Um, I hope you enjoyed your stories as well that I've read. Now, I spent ages trying to find a story to read you today because it's just good fun to read a story. We know that. And I found a story. I thought this is going to be perfect. And I was looking around in my office having a bit of a daydream. And I thought I've had a much better idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap my cameras around so that you can see something in my office. Because if you have been to my office, you will know that on the wall is this picture. And let me move back. There we go. And this picture is of our friends in Kenya. That's the whole school gathered together. And there's so many children, there's over a thousand children there for a school assembly. And that picture up at the top. I couldn't get all the children into the picture. There's more children around the corner. Um, there's a tree in the grounds of the university where we stayed. And this picture is just outside the school on the road through Najuro. And then this picture is one of the classrooms. And this was when we were uh, teaching, when Mrs. P. Jones and I went, uh, went out to Kenya uh, a couple of years ago, three years ago, I think. And these books were donated by children at Wincham. And we took them out, and these books are all now in the library at Najuro Primary School in Kenya. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice if we could read one of the stories that was being read by the children in Kenya? So today we're going to read this one, Pirates in the Supermarket, just because you can see a big smile on the face of the children on that front row in the classroom, that it's being enjoyed in Kenya by our partners, our, our friends in Kenya, and it's going to be enjoyed by us here today. So I'll put my iPad down, you can see the, um, the back of my desk, which will be very exciting for you, I know, and swap my cameras around, and then you get to see me, which is even more exciting for you. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to present the screen, and then we will have a look at um, Pirates in the Supermarket by Timothy Knapman and Sarah Warburton. Here we go. Now, this is by the same people who wrote Dinosaurs in the Supermarket. And I think I've read that once or twice, but I wonder if anybody else has read Dinosaurs in the Supermarket. So here we go. Pirates don't go shopping. They're not like mum and me. They steal and sail and fight and roar. They never leave the sea. But then I take a look around and who's here? Can you guess? <coughs> what can you see? Who can you see? I can't see any pirates at all. Not a one. Can you? Hold on. There might be one or two. <gasps> What's... Somebody peeking from behind the magazines. Somebody, a pirate hat in the fruit and veg. Oh, and a pirate and legs and arms in the lettuce. And there's somebody with a big beard in the coconuts. Oh, my goodness. There might be pirates in the supermarket. It's a mob of naughty pirates making the most dreadful mess. Blackbeard swinging on a rope sprays ketchup in the air while Hooky opens cans of fizz that fountain everywhere. Have you ever wanted to take a big squirt of ketchup and just go squirt, 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 squirt like that? I'd love to try that, but I don't want to clean up the mess afterwards, so maybe I should become a pirate. Swing from a rope in a supermarket and then do it. What do you think? Would I make a good pirate? Right, don't get me started on pirate jokes. It's not going to go well for anybody. There are pirates in the supermarket. Look, you'll see them too. I tell my mum, but she replies, now don't be silly, you. Who can spot a pirate? I can see, there's a bird with a hat. 
I wonder how that pirate got in the freezer. And that one, it must be really, really cold. Somebody with really big hair there. A pirate hiding in the trolley. Can you see the pirate with the wooden leg? Where's the pirate with the wooden leg? That's right, you've got the wooden leg on the shelf. So there's a pirate standing right up high. <clears throat> so, eye patch digs a great big hole and no one says do not he buries his huge his huge treasure chest right where eggs mark the spot there's the eggs eggs marks the spot and he's dug and dug and dug he's left his lunchbox and dug and dug and dug and dug and dug and dug till he buries his treasure chest and he's avoided all the dinosaurs that are under the ground so just be careful if you go to um asda or tesco or sainsbury's or wherever you go for your shopping there might be dinosaurs under the ground as well but the grown-ups keep on shopping as if it's all okay they're busy and don't see them or hear me when i say there's an anchor in the butter there's a spyglass by the juice oh, yeah a telescope a spyglass there are parrots on the carrots there are pirates on the loose imagine parrots on the carrots The checkout staff say, pirates? We don't have them anymore. But who's this lot? I ask them. Wheeling cannons through your store. Wow, actual cannons in the middle of the supermarket. Help, they cry, it's pirates. We've made a big mistake. The pirates grin and start to fill their cannons up with cake. <sighs> Imagine shooting cake out of a cannon. That's gonna be so messy. Kasplurge, kasplang, kaspluffle. Oh no! The staff all scream as the pirates cover them in icing, crumbs and cream. What an amazing mess. I make a hat from boxes and a cutlass out of bread. I say, ha ha, I'm Captain Crossbones, the man all pirates dread. So get this whole shop ship shape or I'll make you walk the plank. And when the sharks are nibbling you, it's me they'll have to thank. Arr. Those sea dogs set to scrubbing till the supermarket's clean. It ends up looking like a place no pirate's ever been. And they're having such a good scrub. Look at his beard. Wow. Full of bubbles. They run off to their pirate ship. They swear they won't come back. But I'm not sure I trust them. They might try a new attack. So when you're in a supermarket, keep a lookout, do. Those pirates might be hiding, not so very far from you. That's, there you go, they're selling all the fish in the ship in the middle of the supermarket. And there we've got all the different pirates. Right, there we go. I love that book. And it's really nice to know that you've been enjoying a story that's been enjoyed by our friends in Kenya as well. That's our partner school, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I can't help myself, but why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. And the pirates were in the supermarkets, which is completely the wrong place, because what's a five pirate's favourite shop? It's Argos. See, it's great. I love pirate jokes. Right. I hope you really enjoyed your story. And maybe in that picture that I showed you um, at the start of the assembly, you might have spotted some other books that you have read that have been enjoyed by our friends in Kenya as well. So there's a child here holding the famous five. Um, there's a child here holding the Rainbow Magic book, uh, Goal by Colin McNaughton, doing the animal bop. I remember reading that to my children. Um, there's long way home by michael mapurgo there's a whole range of stuff that i reckon you guys have read as well so it's pretty good that we can be friends with people across the world we can share books with them share stories and have the same interests i hope you had a really good book week uh, today's friday which means that tomorrow is saturday and sunday and monday yay you're all going to come back into school which is brilliant so we're really looking forward to seeing you all and school for you guys is going to be very similar to how it was before Christmas, which I know it feels like a long time ago, but you're all going to come in at the same gate at the side of the community centre. And you're all going to uh, come in at different times like you were doing before. And then you will walk past me on the playground. I'll be on the Key Stage 1 playground saying good morning to everybody. And remember, it's really, really lovely when uh, everybody's really chirpy and cheerful and says good morning back. 
and then you'll walk around to your classrooms and you'll go into the same door as you uh, go into normally as you uh, were last term and that's where your teachers will be waiting for you with activities at the start of the day and then when I've seen everybody in and um, everybody's coming to school I will uh, come around to all of the classrooms to see that you are all working hard and being amazing and your teachers have all been in school and they've been planning lots of exciting activities for you. Now um, the other thing to have a think about is for some of you particularly the little uh, the younger children it's been a little while since you've been uh, in school so all of the teachers are busy making videos for you to just remind you about the classroom and the rules and what we do and how we do it and we've put those on YouTube so uh, at the end of the day there will be a playlist, a back to school playlist on YouTube with videos from all of the teachers that you can sit and watch and you can see Mrs. Prelsford explaining about where, what's what's where in the classroom and Mrs. Lee and Mr. Babington and everybody will be kind of walking through the classroom with you so that you go, oh yeah, I remember what it's like. I remember all of those bits, just in case you're a bit worried. So sometimes when there's a big change, we get a bit worried. We might feel a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, and just like we've done before, to calm you down, you can do your finger breathing while you're breathing in and out, in and out. And remember, we need to do that two, three, four times before we start to feel calm. So you can do that in case you're worried. Talk to a grown up at home about how you're feeling. And then we need you on Monday morning to be really, really brave if you're feeling a little bit worried or anxious. Be really, really brave. And then by the time you have been in school for 20 minutes, I reckon you will be absolutely fine. Okay, you'll see your friends, you'll see your teachers, and you will have a really, really lovely day. It's going to be really exciting to see you all back in school. Right, I can't wait to see you. Have a lovely weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.